Hello everyone, and a warm welcome to all my brothers and sisters in Christ out there. This is Devotional Harmony, a little corner of the internet where we share stories, prayers and visions that touch our hearts, and hopefully yours too. Today, I've got something special to share with you, a vision from a brother in Christ that really made me stop and think. It's one of those stories that could change the way you see the day ahead, maybe even more. So, if this video finds you well, or even if you're looking for a bit of hope or inspiration, I'd love for you to stick around. Consider subscribing to our channel, not just for videos like this, but to be part of a community that looks for light in the everyday. And if you think someone else might need to hear this message, please share it with them. It's all about spreading love and encouragement, right? I'm going to share this vision just as it was shared with me. Nothing added, nothing taken away. It's a story that deserves to be heard in its full truth and beauty. I really hope it speaks to you in some way, and if it does, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment below, share your own experiences, or just say hi. It means a lot to know we're all here listening and supporting each other. All right, let's dive into this vision and see where it takes us. Thanks for being here, and let's get started. Hello, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I just want to share with you a dream or a vision that the Lord has shown me about the seven-year tribulation. Now, in my vision, I could feel my whole body go into a state of being numb. I couldn't even be able to lift a finger or move any part of my body. It was like I was paralyzed. I felt my spirit leave my body and all my senses had become supernaturally active. It was like I was more alive than I'd ever been. I heard what sounded like a loud trumpet, a very loud trumpet blast. I could see my spirit rising from the ground and was transferred into a very high mountain and was able to see what was happening on the ground. I saw a man who was wearing white clothes and he had a collar that is usually worn by priests. Then I asked the man what just happened. He answered, John, don't you know what has happened? People have just disappeared. And that's when I knew that the rapture had taken place. Then the man just left. I never knew where he went. And as I was up the mountain, it was like I could see the whole world was flat and everything was visible to me. And God had given me an understanding to see what was taking place. The first thing I noticed was the absence of peace. It was like peace had been removed from the earth and it was replaced with fear. Everyone and everybody was just running around. There was confusion all over the place. And the kind of violence that I saw. People preying on other people. I had never witnessed such violence on earth. There was a complete breakdown of law and order that we are so accustomed to. Then I started seeing people go into very high-rise buildings. They were throwing themselves down. I started seeing other people were dying. As they threw themselves down, other people were dying. Other people were surviving. That is what I saw. Then, my spirit was transferred into a period which I could understand and tell. It was almost at the end of the seven-year tribulation. I saw people who, for lack of a better word, looked like zombies. Now these people had blisters all over their bodies. They had boils all over their bodies. And it was like their bodies had been burned from heat and they had been scorched by heat. That is what I saw. Now these people not only did they want to kill other people, but they were also eating their flesh. They had become cannibals. They were eating other people's flesh. Now this period of time will be the worst period of time in human history. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 24, verse 21, for then there's going to be great tribulation. And believe you me, when the Bible says there's going to be trouble, there will be trouble on earth that we've never seen before. During this time, 
people will be dying in the millions. Jesus said in Luke chapter 21, verse 36, Pray that you may be found worthy to escape those things that are coming upon the earth. My dear brothers and sisters, time is running out. We are living in perilous times. Almost everything that the Bible projected to happen is being fulfilled right before our very eyes. Jesus died for your sins, and he also died for you not to go through the tribulation period and also keep you away from hell. If you are not born again, now is the time to get right with God. Now is the hour to get right with God. You don't know about tomorrow. You may not be there tomorrow. You're not even guaranteed about your next breath. Today is the day to get right with God. If you have your friends, if you have your relatives, spread the word and tell them we are living in the last of the last days. And now is the time to get serious about our salvation and believing in Jesus Christ as our personal Savior. Be blessed.